The ambassador of European Union to Lesotho, Dr. Michael Doyle, indicates that they are excited for the presence of European Union in Lesotho since this gives them an opportunity to find solution to the challenges facing this country. Ladies and gentlemen, given the importance that the EU attaches to supporting Lesotho's own implementation of your national reforms process, I wish to recall the key commitments made in that pledge. In signing the reforms pledge, the leaders of Lesotho's political parties have stated that they, quote, sincerely, solemnly, and in good faith pledge that they shall publicly speak out in favor of an inclusive, participatory, democratic, and transparent process for these reforms. Secondly, whether our political parties shall be in government, opposition, outside of parliament, and or in local government bodies, we shall give the highest priority to implementing reforms which shall include, but not be limited to, constitutional, parliamentary, security sector, judicial and public service reforms, all based on a process of national dialogue and inclusion of all political parties and all other stakeholders representing the Basutu nation. And thirdly, we further commit ourselves to convening as one of the first priorities of the new government and without undue delay, an independent forum or national dialogue that will debate and agree on a consensus basis how to move forward with reforms and such an outcome be protected by legislation, unquote. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Relations and Dr. Mampono Hakika highlighted that the European Union plays a significant role in developing Lesotho as it donated shelter, food and money during the impact of drought in Lesotho. She said that recently EU supports Lesotho for the upcoming general elections. Your Excellency, the European Union continues to play a significant role in our efforts towards social economic development through support to our priorities for implementation of the national indicative program in the sectors of water, energy and governance. You will also recall that currently under the e EDF 11, Lesotho has been allocated a total of 142 million euros. We hope following the midterm review that these resources will remain unchanged or even better to support our priorities. The European Union's Day is annually celebrated on the 9th of May. Diang Magaisane, LTV News, Masairu.